In this video, you will learn how to find similarity between words and sentences using Spacey in Python. Let's import Spacey. And to work on English language, we have to first import the English language model which is available in the Spacey library. I'll make one object NLP and from Spacey, I will call the method load and inside this, I will pass the English model name and the English language model name is en underscore core underscore web underscore sm let's execute our code and this will create us the model object if I call this object NLP you will see here it says that spacey dot language dot en dot English at this memory location now I'm going to make one variable g1 and I will call this object NLP and inside this I will pass one greeting um, we have such as hi hello so I will write here hi I'll make another object G2 and in that I will call this NLP object and in that I will write hello so these are the two greetings we usually say people to hi hello and now let us print this G1 and G2 because these two are greetings that then this this must have some score which are very high that means they are very close to each other and let's find the score between this g1 and g2 the similarity score because these two are greetings so they are similar and we should get a high score between these two variables g1 and g2 let us call these the function similarity on this g1 object so i will call this g1 and I want to find the similarity of G1 that is the similarity of Hive with this hello so I will call the function similarity and I want to find it with this G2 so I will write here G2 and here in the output you will see we got 0.68 that is 68% so it says that hi and hello are 68% similar to each other and similarly if I call this G2 dot similarity on g1 so here also you will see we get uh, we got the same percentage here 68 percent so it says that the similarity between these two greetings hi and hello is 68 percent they are 68 percent similar to each other now let's find similarity of g1 and g2 with some other word and let's see what score we get I'll make one object g3 and in this I will write something so let me write nlp underscore data so in g3 we have this data and you can see that this hi hello and data they are all different hi and hello are similar but if you compare if you, if you want to find the similarity between hi and data then there is a difference there is no uh, similarity between this hi and hello and data so let us execute our code and now we are going to find the similarity of this g3 with g1 and g2 and let's see what percentage we get i will write g3 dot similarity and i want to compare the similarity with g1 and in g1 we have this hi here let us execute our code and it says that the similarity between this G3 and G1 is only 21% similar. So the similarity is very low here. That is only 21% they are similar to each other. And let us also find this similarity between G3 and G2. So I will write here G3 dot similarity with G2 and here in the output you can see now the similarity has decreased so it is now 0.09 that is there is a similarity of only 9% between G3 and G2 that is data this data and hello are only 9% similar to each other and this hi and data are 21% similar, similar to each other but we have seen that the similarity between G1 and G2 is very high 
that is we got here 68 percent because they are grating so they are similar to each other now let us take some more examples so here we just took one word and instead of one word let us take some sentences here i'll make one object s1 and i will call this an lp object and inside this i will write this sentence my first sentence will be nlp is useful for dealing with text and let me make one more object s2 i will call this nlp and my second sentence will be spacey is part of nlp which is used for text analysis these are all random sentences you can uh, experiment with your own choice and I'll make one more S3 and I will call this object NLP and my last sentence would be uh, I like movies now if you see here the similarity between S1 and S2 are close because they both are talking about NLP and the text analysis our S1 sentence is NLP is useful for dealing with text and the S2 is spacey is part of NLP which is used for text analysis so you can see that these two are very similar to each other but the S3 is I like movies uh, it is not similar it is not matching with S1 and S2 so let us see what percentage we are getting for these similarity score so I will call this S1 dot similarity and first I will call I will check the similarity with this S2 I will write here S2 and here you can see we got 53% similarity that is S1 is similar to S2 by 53% and now let us call this S1 on this S3 and see what percentage we are getting I will call S1 dot similarity on S3 and here you can see we are getting only 10% 0.10 0 so there is a big difference when we compared it with S2 we got 53% because they both are talking about the text and when we compared it with this S3 we got only 10% because they both are different S1 is talking about NLP is useful for dealing with text while S3 is talking about I like movies and they are both different now let us also check the similarity score between S2 and S3 now I will call this S2 similarity on s3 and here in the output you can see we, we are getting only 10 percent similarity so s2 is similar to this s3 by only 10 percent and with this example we can confirm that the similarity function works well and because we have three different sentences here the first two are talking about that is s1 and s2 are talking about the nlp and the text part while this s3 is talking about movies and this is uh, different to this s1 and s2 and using the similarity score we can also confirm that they are not similar we got only 10 percent for this s1 and s3 and also with this s2 and s3 this tutorial was about similarity function in Spacey, how we can find the similarity between word and sentences. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.